Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me for today's episode of Motivational Moments. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about positive affirmations and the power of what these positive affirmations can do for you in your everyday life. And remember, this is part of my four-step patented uh, guts formula. Remember, the G stands for gain knowledge. The U stands for use positive affirmations. T is for train your thoughts. And S is for setting realistic goals and visualizing them happening. So today, I'm really excited to talk to you about positive affirmations. I've been doing this for about 30 years, spreading the word of positivity and the importance of our self-talk, what we say to ourselves and what we say to others, because I have studied many, many people that are in this area of thought and words and affirmations. I've experimented with myself and others, the effects of those um, self-talk statements and the things that we do repeat on a regular basis. Now, here's the thing. We're not perfect. We're only human. And we're going to say things um, actually on a regular basis without thinking about it that are either counterproductive, negative, self-defeating, all those kinds of things because it's kind of natural. I guess my goal for all of us is to become more aware of what we say, how we say it, and what emotion we put behind it because all those things combined affect our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is always listening to what we say and what we think. And it kind of registers like a computer. It goes in and it stays there. It's just like imprinted, right? So it will bring about things in our lives that we say more often and with strong emotions. So if we're saying things like, I can't, I can't do math, or I'm never going to be good enough, or I am not worthy. I am not worthy of success or anything like that. The self-defeating, the subconscious mind listens and responds and will give you what you say and expect into your life on a regular basis. Just try it. So if you want good things to happen, start saying positive things about your life, about your situation, even if it isn't positive at the time, because you want to change those thoughts and that self-talk that goes on in your subconscious mind. And when you are doing affirmations, it's best to do it in the present tense. You don't want to say, I'm going to make more money next year. Because the subconscious mind doesn't know what to do with that. What do you mean you want to make more money next year? Does that mean you want to make a dollar more next year? Um, so you have to be very specific. And if you say things in a present tense, then the subconscious mind can go to work on bringing those statements to a reality. Like, I am already making more money. Or I realize... Uh, X amount of dollars in my checking account or in real estate, I will set an affirmation about what I would expect as an offer price or as a sales price. And I do it with conviction and I believe it and I try to do my best to make it manifest. Psychologists have said in, a, in my research that about 75% of what we say out loud or to ourselves is either self-defeating, negative, um, and it's not, it, it's quantifiable. This is a way that we can control as best as we can what we say. And I think it's so, so very important. Um, I would encourage you to write down positive statements, maybe keep it on a little index card or on your phone under notes and repeat those positive statements on a daily basis. And you can write them in all areas of your life. You could have a health series of affirmations. You can have a money series of affirmations. You can have a relationship 
series of affirmations and do as many as you can and make sure that you get your word choices as positive as possible and then back it up with emotion because you have to believe what you're saying whether it's true yet <laughs> or not it really helps the subconscious mind to react and to give you what you say that you believe you already have and that it's already happening in the present tense. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole workshop on the power of affirmations because I believe in it so much and I have used it for so long. But it is something that is um, a daily ritual that we need to do because too many things in our lives they are, you know, things happen. We're negative or we're sad or we're depressed or we're unhappy. I mean, it's just, we have ups and downs, but the best advice I can give you and the best advice I give myself is to repeat those affirmations as often as possible. And it's the same thing with repetitive prayer. Um, you know, look at the rosary, you know, people recite the rosary, um, out loud. And they do it over and over and over. So there's something to be said for repeating something on an ongoing basis. And it changes, it rewires uh, our thought process in our subconscious mind. So make it a great day. Write down those positive affirmations. And please feel free to share some of those affirmations that you have created. And we can all learn from each other. Have a great day. I know you will because you are affirming that you are having a great day. Thanks.